Alright, so the gang is here. Got my whole collection out. Figured I'd do another update video on that because I've changed a few things around on some of the tanks and added in some live plants and done a rehouse on my OBT due to the fact that the substrate was too wet for it and it really didn't like it. It was staying towards the top and wasn't webbing. I did that late last night, early this morning and it's already found a preferred corner and it started webbing so that's good but let's go ahead and start opening some lids and getting through these tees alright guys this is my OBT Ronald As you can see, it's bunkered in his little corner, or her corner, with its small amount of webbing that it's created, which I was surprised it started webbing right away after I did the, the rehouse. I'm going to see if it's interested in a little dubia roach. much interest in him but I'll leave it in there and keep an eye on it all right let's go ahead and move to the next next I have Hermione my curly hair I really did not change this enclosure much except for adding in two live plants Not much webbing has occurred. There's a small bed of webbing where she normally hangs out at. But surprisingly, we are up top today. Get her done. As you can see, she does not refuse a meal. I gave her 50 crickets. I'm pretty sure she'd eat every single one until she explodes. But I'm not going to do that. Alright, that's enough for Hermione. Let's go on to the next. Next we have Creature, my straight me. Not striped me, but the Costa Rican zebra. There he is out front. I might be able to coax him out of his hide.
come out, that's fine. But in this one, I added this pink and green life plant, which once it grows bigger, that pink will turn into a vibrant red. And he normally just stays under this giant flat rock. Bring it around to the back. And this is the tunnel system he has created. Alright, enough time in the spotlight for you. We'll go ahead and point it at someone else. Next is Draco, my golden baboon. This is more of a hole in the wall pet. It normally stays hidden way back there in its burrow. <clears throat> I believe I've seen it out and about once. But when it does come out, it is a wonderful sight. Not really anything has changed with his enclosure. No new live plants, seeming I didn't have any room. Let's see if we can get a view of them from the back. Which I do not will will not be possible due to his web. <coughs> yeah, as you can see, he's pretty much blocked himself in there. You can kind of see his legs back in there. Really doesn't come out for anything. Um, still a real cool tea when he does come out. Alright. Enough of that pet hole. Let's move on to someone that's out and about. And here is Harry, my Thai tiger. I really don't want to take the lid off and bother him. As you can see in my last video, I recently just fed him. And he is working on his happy dance, putting down some webs, and still munching away on that roach. His enclosure did not change either, but he has started a small burrow right there and has done the same with webbing up a little pocket. Alright, we'll let him finish up eating. Don't want to bother him too much. And on to the next. This is Dobby. My Mexican red rump. And as you can see, it has made this giant mound which has completely covered up its cork bark. I have added in some live plants. And it has started this huge massive tunnel running all the way around its tank. Starting in this corner. Going down over here. As you can see there she is. that tunnel continuing all along the front side and further back. It's got to be a good foot and a half long tunnel which is pretty awesome. So, so really surprised no webbing yet but never refuses a male or a meal Pretty sure she wouldn't refuse a male either. Probably eat him too. But still too tiny to figure that out. And that is Dobby. We will move on to the next tea. And here we have Griphook. 
my rear horn baboon. This one I have done quite a bit of changing as it's the biggest enclosure. I put in one of those pink and green plants, some of the taller plants, and some moss. As you can see, it resided in this little webbing along here last night and also webbed up its water dish and the top of this rock which goes down here into the back corner tunnels all the way around here and comes up on top of this piece of cork bark and surprisingly she is out I really like that rear horn that they have. It's pretty neat. I just figured this would be the best enclosure for her. A lot of floor space, plenty of place to web and climb. And I do not believe she will eat, but we can try. Well, first off, let's see where you're going. I don't believe she's going to eat. She resided under a web. I'm pretty sure she doesn't like the light, but we'll try real quick. All right, let's give this a shot. And it's running for the hills. Let's go with tongs for this. I really don't feel like getting bit by this guy. Well, this girl. Yeah, exactly what I thought. We're not very hungry. And hello. guys I'll get back to you while I catch my tea all right we have caught the runaway put it back safely before we make any more wise moves let's go ahead and put the lid on and show you my last tea Now that I've got the lid on and the doobie roach out, I wanted to show you guys the tunnel system that this thing has created. Goes all the way around. There we're hiding. Comes out here on top of the rock. And it normally stays in this back corner. And this is a fairly large tunnel. As you can see, there's my hand compared to this tunnel. I can actually measure how long it is. And from one end of this tote to the other is just over 18 and a half inches. 
So it has done quite a bit of digging on top of probably a three inch chamber going up and into its hide. So I'd probably put it just under two foot. All right, enough with her. On to the next. Next we have Aragog, my rose hair. I am unsure of its sex on this one. But it has done a fine job on webbing everything up. I created a starting burrow right down here and it never got the hint. As you can see, new substrate never been used. Instead, it decided that under this giant piece of bark would be better. She or he is currently in pre molt and has been for the past couple months. And has picked up quite a nasty temperament when I would go to change her water or do some cage maintenance. She used to be real sweet and do little walks around and everything and now she just resides in this corner. This is her favorite corner in the whole tank. Didn't really know she would like the bark but she decided to make giant walls of her substrate and keep the bark. And I have not changed anything in this tank due to the fact of her being in pre molt But if she's not in her corner, she's normally all the way in the back there. And this is a 10 gallon tank and she used to walk it and web it all over. As you can see, there's webs from this corner. All along here, there's some around her water dish. I'm guessing this is where she was going to lay her molt, and then she decided to move in here underneath this log. Which is fine with me, I just wish she would hurry up and molt. Alright, on to the next, which will be my centipede. Mr. Salvador, there's some leftovers from the giant dubia that I gave him the other night. Couldn't take that out. And he normally resides right under this piece of cork bark. And there he is. And I will see if I can't find a decent sized doobie roach to throw in there which I think I'm stuck to one adult female and a bunch of little ones but we'll try a little one and see if it goes after it anyways
like the roach knows. Apparently he is not interested, and I'm not going to force him. So I'll just go ahead and take this little roach out, and try another day. And on to the last of my collection. Last is Lucius, my common spider that you can find out here in Alabama. They do a lot of cool funnels like this. And this thing is normally a great eater. Um, as you can see, it's defecated all over the tank. But, I mean, it's just exploded with webs. I hope my OBT's tank turns out like this. Minus the, the poop. But it's just a real thick, thick web. Was to drop down a roach for him if he would get it. Question is with all the webs if I can get it down to him. Let me pause this for a second and see if I can find a hole to drop it down. Give this a shot. Of course, the, the roach is going to play dead.
see if I can't get a more lively one down there. Wow, normally Lucius will just run up and grab them and disappear into a hole. It's really surprising. <clears throat> but I really do like its coloring on its carapace. It almost reminds me of in a baboon with the stripings. Maybe it's just a modern day tarantula that got miniaturized. Well, apparently we're not going to do any eating, but that would be Lucius, everyone, and the end of my collection. Hope you guys have a great night. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a great night.